It's been a rainy day today. Took the day off of work to work on my mill. I'm not sure that that's kosher enough, but I guess if you own the shop, some uh, ownership has its privileges. So I got the blade guards fitted and got some rubber latches holding them on and a pin in the top. That uh, this bolt right there will uh, just pulls out. I'm going to get something a little a little smoother action. And then it has a piece of half inch, I'm sorry, one and a half inch that goes inside my um, blade guide tube. So the saw is just about all assembled. The power head is assembled. I haven't had it running yet. I don't want to rush it because I know what happens if I do. It'll start cutting and then it'll never get painted. So I've got to build my bunks yet. I've got my raising and the lowering business all straightened up and on. Belt guards on, blade guards on. My feed motor is on and chains are run, sprockets are, are pretty level. Everything's in good good shape there. Um, my gas tank's mounted. I got my exhaust way up high. I might put a turn down on it, maybe turn it forward a little bit just so I'm not blowing the exhaust in my face. My chains are mounted to the back here with a nice simple little little piece I made and drilled to put a master link in. Seems pretty simple. I've got seven of my bunks cut, two inch. And they'll go on top of this. They'll raise this up. I've actually got to raise this up four and a half inches. That will give me a four and a half inches will give me a one inch cut at the bottom of the blade when the when the carriage is down all the way. So I still have my box. I have yet to wire up. So I'm going to wire that up. Put some switches. I built a brake today to go around this pulley so I can control this just with a simple spring. And I put a belt on the outside of that. That will allow me to uh, use this friction band here, just a piece of steel that I bent in the vise, a piece of quarter inch steel, and it's pretty solid and allows me to control the, the descent. All I gotta do is push this handle. Right here, I can't lift it with, or I have the motor, of course, that press the button to turn the motor up. I don't even know if I'm gonna put the speed controller on the motor. It goes up at just the right speed to get to the top. Lowering it is fine. You're only going to go down an inch or two or so at a time, so I'm not too concerned about it. But. So we're down to the minutia, the little tiny bits and pieces. Um, like I had to cut 14 of these blocks, two inch by two inch blocks. See the mess on my garage floor from that abrasive wheel that I cut these two inch blocks out right here, two by two by three sixteenths wall. I got a two by two by half inch I'm going to put on top of that drill it 10 millimeter that way I can bolt my cross pieces um, to the bunk and if I ever bend one or hurt one I can always replace it later so I've got 14 of those ready to go two in each or in each bunk one each end so anyway I don't have much more to report but that's uh, that's the progress report on the homemade sawmill I'm getting the Lynn lumber plans checked off slowly all the little bits and pieces so and uh don't think i need to buy any more steel or parts i've got all kinds of bearings left got some big return to make the princess auto some idlers and bearings and i plan to put a chain and an idler and a set of sprockets on both sides of the carriage when it pulls but i don't think i need to do it it's i've run it back and forth two dozen times and um unless something strange happens with the weight of a log in there and i've milled plenty to know that you can only push it as far as it'll cut as fast as it'll cut i should say so anyway that's all i have to say about that check with you again soon i hope